I'm Morna Adlam from Hunter Local Land Services and we have been working on the Wollumbi Brook Rehabilitation Project at Broke since 2019 together with our project partners Broke Bogger Land Care, Bogger Coal, Singleton Council and up to a dozen landholders along the brook. The project covers one and a half kilometres of the Wollumbi Brook downstream from the Millbridell Road Bridge. This reach has a moderate to high recovery potential which means that no major work's needed to be able to significantly improve the condition of the brook. The project has given us quite, a, quite an enhanced vision of uh, the significance of what we're doing and where it leads into the future. There is a lot of interest amongst the landholders particularly and they appreciate very much the work that's being done and also what the brook means to them. That has led us uh, in the Landcare Group to have discussions about our vision, which is that the brook is the uniting factor of the communities of Broke, Bulga and Milbradale, and it's the brook that connects us all together. The project was inspired by Broke Bulga Landcare Group. Um, the group had been working on African olive and other woody weeds in McNamara Park. We have a problem with African olives and it really was bad. The, the place was just choked with it. New ones coming through all the time. Everything was just continuing to grow. At that stage, I mean, some of the trunks were like this of African olives that we had to use chainsaws to cut down. And then of course, all the seeds that had been dropped in the ground around re-sprouted. Well, when we first moved into this property two years ago, there was hardly any trees. It was very much overgrown with woody weed. They were actually choking out most of the native vegetation. You wouldn't have walked down in most of this area. It was just so dense. The project has been delivered by engaging contractors to carry out the weed control work and also some of the revegetation work together with Landcare members and through community planting days. So the main weed species that we've addressed along the reach have been African olive, bridal creeper, moth vine, tree pear, cassia, areas of blackberry. Most of our planting along the reach has focused on reinstating lamandras. They are a wonderful sedge which helps to stabilise the banks. When Lorna and I have walked along the brook, we've noticed that there are a lot of lamandras that are, that are thriving. And we've also noticed where we've planted, some have survived and some have not. It's where there are existing stands of casuarinas that they have protected the lamandras and they've grown on. And so in fact the re-establishment of the uh, trees is helping further regeneration and it's also helping in narrowing the banks of the river mm -hmm. and therefore deepening it and making it into a true stream rather than an occasional stream. We also held a school event with the two local schools in the area, Broke Public School and Milbradale Public School. The lamandras that the school students planted are surviving really, really well. They've endured the inundation of the flooding events that we've had along the brook. To see them established on the banks at McNamara Park has been a legacy that these school students have left the brook. It is just a beautiful, quite peaceful area by the brook. I enjoy sitting down here in summertime. I also enjoy coming down in winter, just to soak up the ambience of the area. Now there's more open space. So the end result is that there's more variety growing, the diversity's changed. So it's become a more enjoyable place to come. We have found that since treatment, there's been a lot of natural regeneration occurring due to more light coming through the native seed bank has actually been activated. A lot of the wattles and also the tea tree are naturally regenerating by themselves, which is fantastic. I can't wait to see the trees that have been planted and the lamandras on the bank established. It's going to make the environment thrive. And I can imagine it, it will look like it did 100 years ago. A lot more tea tree, a lot more currajongs, a lot more river red gums. This project has achieved so much. It's been a great partnership between ourselves and the Landcare Group. We would love to hear from more landholders who are keen to manage and look after the Wallenby Brook. It's such a wonderful riparian area. So if you are a landholder who 
lives along the Wallenby Brook, please contact us at Hunter Local Land Services. We would love to meet you, talk to you more about the brook and how we can all better manage it into the future.